Hi guys, Ash from Britler Social Club. Um, I've just recently come back off my holidays and I was fortunate enough to go past um, SB Tools. So I picked up a few bits and pieces I'll share with you. Um, he's not only one of our sponsors, he also supports a lot of local businesses, bricklayers, young bricklayers, old bricklayers. Um, and yeah, I'll show you what I got from him. Um, it's only a very small portion of what he sells. Um, but this is, this is what I got from him. So I've got a really nice Philadelphia pattern. This is a 11 inch um, plastic handle. Uh, w Rose, um, we've all seen one, great trail. He's got literally hundreds of these um, with the plastic handle, the wooden handle, leather handle, they're all there. It's one of them. Also picked up one of these because I haven't seen the purple handle before. Uh, this is a Marshall Town, 10 and a half inch. Um, yeah, bit bit new to me because I've not seen one of these on a Marshall Town, uh, especially the, the purple. Um, nice trail. These are finger trails. Um, they're made by a company called Morfriend. Never heard of them. They're all one continuous piece. They are in an 8mm, 6mm, and a 10 mil. Um, I've got uh, I've got a job coming up soon where I've got to do some tuck pointing um, or f uh, flush. And these look like they might actually be quite good. Um, they weren't expensive. I think they're about twelve ninety nine each. So they're a bit cheaper than the the Marshall Town. Um, as you can see, they are one continuous piece of metal going into the wooden handle. Um, I haven't got a Marshall Town finger trail near me to compare it to. Um, but yeah, we'll give them a go. See how we get on with them. Um, also picked up the beaver tail brush. Um, these brushes I find are a lot better when you're doing carrying out line work on older, uh, using like older bricks, reclaimed bricks. Um, because they're just a little bit firmer and just help you um, get that kind of, that, that finish. Um, I, I personally, what I prefer um, when I'm doing older work. There is also, uh, that's, that's the classic horsehair brush, um, which again, is a great brush, uh, which every bricklayer's probably got. But then that brings me onto this brush, which looks a bit like um, a wallpaper brush made by Marshall Town. Um, it's just a stiff brush. Um, I don't know what the material is for the brush, but that's really nice, again, for your old work, uh, line work to brush off. Um, again, I don't think these were that expensive. Um, doesn't say what it is, just a stiff brush. Um, I've got a few more of these. I've had, I've got some of these already. Um, these are the footprint corner blocks. We all know they're mustard. They're great. You can see through there for when it's on your um, little window for when you put out your profiles. Um, yeah, they're just well thought of. Found these as well. These are an RST single brush. So for them guys doing the repointing, um, once you've raked out, I don't think this is actually a, a bad brush. I think it's quite quite useful for just cleaning out that last section. Um, so yeah, picked up a couple of those. Um, RSB02, two row heavy duty scratch brush. Quite a handy little bit of kit. A couple of those. Um, this, is, this is the RST folded knife. I'll open it up, because actually, although this is my third one because they get lifted all the time, they're actually a really nice br um, knife, like really nice. Um, even the blades are quite cool. Um, let's put a 
back in there. Yeah. Really good knife to have on site. I say really good. It's really good for everyone to steal because it's, yeah, it's my third one. Um, now I just picked up some of the uh, Marshalltown um, tingles. Twigs, what you want to call them? 